Hi and welcome to another iPad calligraphy tutorial. Nicole with you here. Today we're looking at animating a signature or a logo using Animation Assist in Procreate 5. So you can write out your own name either in one line or across two like I've got here and we'll be using layer masks to reveal one bit at a time to make it look as if it's handwritten. Here I am in Procreate, I've got my file ready to go. This canvas is square because I might choose to put this on Instagram and it's 1080 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high. It's good to think about how you want Want to use the end result. I'm going to probably use this on Instagram so I'm doing it in a square format. As you can see here in the group I've got each layer is separate so I've got the lettering on two different layers and then I've also got the design motive and the style layers. So I could leave that as is and use that throughout the animation but what's going to happen is we will very quickly fill up our layers and we might have enough room to do this full animation but rather than take any chances there's no real reason that I need this on two separate layers so I'm actually just going to flatten the image and now that's one full layer. I'll just rename this, I'll just call it IPC. If you were using layers make sure your layers are clearly marked because you'll see as you start to build up the animation and it's duplicating all those layers again and again it very quickly gets out of control and very messy so make sure to name your layers. Right, so we're pretty good in placement as well. I'm happy that that's in the center of the canvas. Can maybe move over to the left a little bit. And now we're ready to go with the animation. First things first, I'm going to open Animation Assist and you'll find this just in the Actions panel. Under the Canvas menu, you see Animation Assist and you just need to turn that on. So what will happen, we've looked at animation in an earlier video, so I'll link to that below if you want a basic run through of how it works. But just to give you a little bit of a reminder, anytime you make a layer, it's also going to make another layer in the animation down here. So you see this little menu here pops up. This is where we're going to control and navigate the animation. So I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I'm just gonna mask my layer. So just tapping on the layer and choose mask and then with the layer mask, tap on that and invert to hide everything. I've got white selected and I'm just using Monoline Smooth from my Essential Calligraphy Kit. That just has no texture and it's nice and smooth which will allow us to erase away the areas we need. So I'm going to come in here and start. You might need to just reveal a bit of the image to just see where you are initially. So there's the beginning of the text. So I'm going to start with the eye of iPad. And I've got a drop shadow, I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly, but I've got a drop shadow underneath which I want to be careful to um, reveal as well so that it's not chopped off. So I've got the first part of the letter here and now all I need to do is tap on this layer down here on this little icon and I'll choose duplicate and that's just going to add a new layer. So it's added the layer and the layer mask as well. So now we have that ready to go. You've just got to make sure that you select the layer mask each time so it doesn't automatically select the layer mask for you. So just move back onto your layer mask. You've got white selected and then we just come in and we just reveal a little bit more of that writing. And then we'll do, do the same again, duplicate, choose the mask and reveal a bit more of the writing. One thing we can do as well, if I just duplicate another layer here, I'm going to, it's a little bit hard to detect where the text is going to go. So I'll just show you a little bit trick for that. What we can do is just make this, this last layer here. We're going to clear the layer mask and I'm actually just gonna delete it all together. So this will be our final frame where we'll end up. And I'm working, I'm up to here. But what I've done now, because I've got my final frame in there, it's actually adding an onion skin because I have onion skins on. If you don't see any faded image of the design, you can just come into settings and see your onion skin opacity. This is the opacity. This is how many frames it shows. So it'll show three frames before and after the frame that you're on. So that's perfect. Now we can see what we're doing and I'll just keep going from here. So we got up to here. Now I'll duplicate this frame. It'll insert it in between these, select the layer mask and we can just continue with the animation. So we can start to get a feel for that just by pressing play. Just ignore the flash of the whole image. But actually that's looking pretty good. I was wondering whether we were revealing a bit too much on each frame, but it's pretty smooth so I'm happy with that. That's a good way that you can just preview the animation straight in Procreate. You don't need to export or anything. So there's play and pause settings there. Right, so we'll just carry on here and reveal the rest of this stem. 
Right, so that stem's coming up and that's looking good. What I might do as well is actually bring this part of the letter, this upper loop, I might start that coming in way early in the animation so everything's kind of coming together at the same time. So I'm just going to set my onion skinning right back up again and we might have to do a little bit of guesswork here. So because the onion skinning only goes up to a maximum of 10, I can't exactly see the, where it's going to start but I'll just make a guess. So make sure we've got a selected mask on and I'll just find the end of this loop which is here. So we want to start at that point. And I'm going to have that come in there. Go back to your layer mask. Do the next bit. So we've used up all our layers and we've caught up to meeting where the stem is. So now we go back here into duplicate and we'll just carry on and paint the rest. And it's really easy to forget that you have to move to your layer mask. So I keep doing that. So don't worry if you do as well, just undo and correct it. So we'll finish off this P. Okay, we've finished our P so we can move on and complete the rest of the word. And it's all, always a good idea to think how the letters are made and do it in that order. So start around about where you would start if you were actually writing this, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'll speed this bit up so that we can move on to our second word. Okay, great, and there we have our first word animated. So I can just press the little play button at the top of the menu here, and you get a preview of how it's gonna look. And of course, we end on that last frame. So our last frame that we've animated is the frame before that one, we're working up to that. So that's great, that's looking really cool. If you do run out of layers at any point, which has happened to me with this animation, this is actually my second attempt at filming it because of that exact reason. What I did to make up for that was delete every second uh, frame and layer. So I just went through my layers, I hit my layer limit and realized I couldn't go any further. So I came back to the beginning and just went through and deleted every second layer right from the menu layers here. And that also deleted the frames here. So now I know that I have enough layers to complete the animation. But if that happens to you, it's an easy fix. You just do that and it will actually look just as good because I had very small amounts revealed in each frame and that ended up just speeding it up and it looked better in the end anyway. So I'm, I'm happy with that and I know that I can continue. So as I do this second word, I'm gonna reveal a little bit more than I was initially just to speed along the animation. So I'll get going on that now and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, there we have it. Our second word is now complete as well. You get in a bit of a rhythm after a while. The most difficult thing is remembering to select the layer mask because it doesn't do that automatically for you. So you do have to open the panel each time you create a new frame. That's the hardest thing really. And it's just a matter of revealing each of the letters. So if we play the animation through, of course it goes to that end frame. And then we can see the handwritten look of the logo coming in. So we've got one final step and that's just to bring in these design elements at the end. And there's a little trick on this as well. So what we're gonna do is to just go back to our second last frame where we were before and duplicate. 
and I'm going to turn the opacity up slightly on the onion skinning to around 70%. Now I can see the, where those stars are. So I'm going to reveal this one in the middle first of all. So I make sure my mask is selected and my color is white and I'm just painting over that first star. But I don't want these frames to move through as rapidly as for the iPad calligraphy reveal. So what I can do is just tap on this frame and you'll notice we've got hold duration. So when I add hold duration, you'll notice as many as I add, it's actually adding these frames in for me. So you could do it this way or you could do it manually and just duplicate that same frame, but I'm gonna use hold duration and I'll do it for maybe three frames. So we've got three frames there, so I'll move on to the next one, duplicate that, and you'll see the whole duration sets back to none again. So move on to your layer mask and go and reveal the next star, and so I'll do that top right one, and then I'll change the settings whole duration for two, for two frames again. And then we'll go to that last one, duplicate, move on to our layer mask, we'll do this star in the top right, change the whole duration for two, go to that last frame, duplicate it, select our layer mask and then reveal that bottom star and put the whole duration on for two again. And then I'm going to come in and finally we're going to duplicate it and I'll move on to the layer mask and just reveal about half of this design motif and then duplicate again, duplicate again, this time we don't have to reveal it, we've just got our last frame which has everything revealed. So now let's take a look and see how that turned out. Cool, so you see those stars come on and they take a little bit longer and then the final reveal of the design motive at the end. So we're all finished with the animation. So now if you wanted to use that on Instagram, you can simply just export it. So we go into our share tab and you can use animated MP4 is the option for Instagram. So you come into here, you can choose between max resolution or web ready. It gives you an estimate of the file size. So that's 350 kilobytes, which is totally fine. So I'm gonna export that. And I'm just going to save video, which will just save it onto my iPad. So now I have that video ready to share on Instagram. So another option would be to create an animated GIF. You've got that under your share layers panel. And this would just create an animated GIF, which you could then even use as your email signature. Of course, you'd have to size that down, physical dimensions. But um, once you scaled that down, you could actually use this as an animated GIF as well and just have that as a signature at the end of your email. There's loads of information on how to do that on the internet. So just search for your particular web client, whatever you use for email, and you'll be able to find out how to do that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a handwritten signature. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for loads more Procreate videos. I shall see you next time. Bye for now.